this is the blade of a helicopter and in order to describe the motion of this blade we're going to explain some parameters that will help us to do that then if this is the center of rotation and this is the center of rotation and this is the blade right then this is the center of rotation and this is the blade then when we consider a particular section of the blade then we're going to denote by r little r the distance to that particular section of the blade um, we're going to assume this is not in the case but just uh, we're going to assume that this distance is equal to little c in general that distance varies but for the, this model, we're going to assume that that distance is little c. Uh, capital R is going to denote the distance from the tip of the blade to the center of rotation. This is capital R. Uh, this blade is going to be rotating either clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, then uh, that angle of rotation is going to be denoted by omega. This is the angular frequency of the rotor. Um, then um, let me explain the azimuth angle. The azimuth angle is the angle related with this vertical line. Let me remind you that anytime you have a line in the space, anytime you have a line in the space, then the rotation of that, along that line is measured by an angle that essentially is measured here in a plane that is perpendicular to that line. Then if you have a motion that is rotating along a particular line, then that motion projects here in a plane that is perpendicular to the line and that is measured by an angle. Then when you consider a vertical line, then the plane that is perpendicular is the horizontal plane and then the blade is rotating and then that rotation uh, is measured by an angle that is usually denoted with the Greek letter C and is called the azimuth angle. In this case the azimuth angle is connected with the omega and the relation is very easy. It's just omega times t where this is the time. Um, some helicopters they tilt a little bit the rotor so that uh, in the measure of the azimuth angle you don't consider a horizontal plane but but a little bit tilted that rot that little tilting is called alpha and this is the rotor angle of attack um, once we have the azimuth angle defined, we can define the pitch angle. And you, that angle is usually denoted by theta. This is called the pitch angle. And that angle is the angle that is related with this line, the line that goes through the center of the blade. Then that angle essentially measures a motion in a plane that is perpendicular to that line. But when you think about a plane that is perpendicular to the line that goes through the center of the blade, essentially that angle is measuring this motion like this. Right? Then that's called the pitch angle. And if you think about a line that is perpendicular to the vertical line and a line that is perpendicular to the line that goes through the center of the blade, then you get this line. And that motion of the, along that line is measured by an angle that is called the flapping angle. Then beta is the flapping angle. Then we have the three angles. We have uh, the C angle, the azimuth angle. We have the pitch angle that is something like this. And we have the flapping motion that you can think of something that goes up and down. Uh, there are some connections between the angles little r and capital R. We have the first connection here. 
there is an interesting relation between the pitch of the angle and the R, and, and this is it, is that by design of the blade, the pitch angle at the end, at the tip of the blade, is different from the pitch angle at the beginning. Usually the pitch at the end is a little smaller than the pitch uh, angle at the beginning. Then it usually goes like this. If the rotation is like this, if the rotation is like this, then in, in this case the angle at the tip is a little smaller and if we go through the center, you start going up. I don't know if you can see here in the design. Usually the total change is denoted by theta twist. Theta twist, and this is called the twist angle. And an example of this twist angle is like negative 10 degrees. I don't know if you can see here this blade has a little twist. It has a little twist on it. 